Hello students, hello everyone. You know ano, that the objective of financial reporting is to help the users, okay, the users of the accounting information make informed decisions. Okay, so ito ano, basically, kinuha ko, kinapture ko ito sa isa kong video lecture. Now, the question that will arise is, how do we help users make informed decisions? Okay, alam natin na yung objective of financial reporting is matulungan yung mga users, ano, yung mga gagamit na makagawa ng informed decision. But, how do we help? Okay, the answer here is by providing useful information. Hindi lamang po tayo ano, nagbibigay ng information, ng financial information. Kinakailangan na yung financial information useful. Okay? Uh, how do we say useful? Ano, ano bang useful sa Tagalog? Um, mapa, mapapakinabangan, ano? So, that is one way of explaining it in our local, local language. But another question, when we are talking of useful, papaano? Papaano natin masasabi na, na mapapakinabangan ng isang financial information? At kailan? Ano? So, ito yung dalawang question na sasagutin natin sa ngayon when we will be talking about the fundamental qualities of accounting information. Okay, now, when do we say that the information is useful? The first answer here is when the financial information has the capacity to influence decision. Kung ang isang information ano, ay merong kapasidad na maka sa decision. Kapag naging available itong information na ito, maaapektuhan yung ating decision as compared kung wala yung information na yon. On a negative perspective, ano, kung wala yung information na yon, ano, iba din ang magiging decision. Okay? Kaya ano, that is what we call relevance. May relevance ba yung financial information? Now, kapag pinag-uusapan natin itong fundamental quality of relevance, Dito ano meron tayong tinatawag na confirmatory value and then the predictive value. Sabi dito ano sa aking infographics, a confirmatory value answers the question, can it provide feedback on previous evaluations? Makakatulong ba ito na mabigyan tayo ano ng feedback doon sa mga evaluations na ginawa in the past? Let's say for instance, we have here sir A. Okay? Meron tayo dito ano isang professional at inaapakan niya ano sa baba ay ang taong 2021. Ibig sabihin ano currently nasa 2021 na period. Okay? Ang nasa kaliwa 2020, ang nasa kanan naman 2022. So yung 2020 historical, ito yung previous period nangyari in the past. Ang 2022, ito yung future Ito yung ating mga projections, ano, what can happen. Now, kapag sinabi natin na confirmatory value, no, yung nangyari sa mga nakalipas na taon, 2020 and before, ano, will be available to us and it can help us on the current year to make informed decisions. Kasi ano, na-confirm natin. Okay, based sa mga nangyari in the past, ano, yung mga naging transactions before, ayan, napatotohanan nga natin. Kasi alam niyo no, sa isang organization, sa isang company, sa isang business enterprise, meron yung mga planning. So, noong 2020, nagkaroon ng planning, ano, nagplano sila, magkano yung projections natin, ano, magkano yung mga estimated na mabibenta natin sa taong ito at sa taong 2021. Okay, magkano yung mga expenses natin? Ilan yung mga tao natin ano, na pinapasahod natin at magkano yung mga estimated na gagastos natin? At marami pa pong iba. Okay, maraming ano yan, ano, items na pinagpaplanuhan. Now, come 2021, okay, nangyari na no, ang ating mga pre-noject, nangyari na yung mga binadjet natin. So, an information or an in, a financial information is useful when it has the ingredient of relevance. Especially, you know, it confirms what was the evaluation before. So, ito yung confirmatory value. Samantalang, pag predictive value, you know, the financial information can help the users predict the future. Parang yung ginawang pagbabudget ano, ng 2020, i-apply lang natin ito sa current state, sa current period. 
Ngayong taon, 2021, dumanas tayo ng ano, no? mga challenges sa business because of the pandemic that started in 2020 and here comes 2021, ongoing pa rin yung ating ano, no? um, pandemic setup. So, medyo affected pa rin yung operations. Okay? Uh, we can we can predict that maybe in 2022, makakapag-recover na tayo based on the information that is available to us. So, those information, financial information, can help us predict, okay, what can happen in the next years to come. Kasi usually, you know, yung mga predictions natin, nakaangkla, nakabase yan sa mga historical records. Ano yung mga nangyari in the past? Kasi, especially kung matagal ka na sa negosyo, magkakaroon ka ng idea papaano tumatakbo ang negosyo at ano yung mga bad, ano no, mga estimated na mga net profit natin, magkano yung kikitain natin sa taon, sa, baw, sa kada taon, ano. So, nakakapag-project tayo, nakakapag-forecast, no? nakakapag-predict tayo. So, hindi tayo dito manghuhula, but yung hinuhulaan natin, ano, it has a basis. Okay, so, that financial information becomes useful to us because it can either confirm what happened in the past and it can predict what can happen in the future. Okay? So, this is what we call relevance. Now, if you have any questions ano, on the subject matter, yung ating discussion sa ngayon, please let me know para ma-assist ko kayo. Okay? Next, another item ano, na kailangan natin i-consider para masabi natin na yung financial information ay useful when it presents what really happened. No? Na ipipresenta ng financial information, ano nga ba talaga ang mga nangyari? At etong phrase na ito, etong statement na ito, ito yung tinatawag natin na faithful representation. Now, pag pinag-uusapan natin yung faithful representation, first, consider this. Is there adequate disclosure? Sa Tagalog, sapat ba yan? Wala bang kulang? Okay? In a short, no, in one uh, one word, ang tawag natin dyan, completeness. Okay? Which is an ingredient of faith, faithful representation. Para masabi natin, ano na, it presents what really happened in the past, sapat ba yung information? Wala ba tayong pagkukulang or walang kulang doon sa ibinigay sa available information? So, kumpleto dapat, ano? Pangalawa, wala bang bias yan? Fair ba yan? Wala ba tayong pinapanigan? Patas ba at walang pinapanigan? Ang tawag natin dyan is yung neutrality. Neutral tayo. The inform oh, hindi tayo ano, but the financial information. It should be neutral. Wala yung pinapanigan. Otherwise, kung yan ay nakapanig sa management, so bias yan. Ano? Kasi pinapakita lang ng financial information kung ano yung gustong makita ng management. In that case, hindi yan magiging useful kasi baka mamaya mali-mali naman pala yung financial information na ibinibigay natin sa management kasi yung gusto lang ng management na makita, yun lang yung ipinoprovide natin at hindi talaga yung totoong ano, lagay ng kumpanya. Okay? So, dapat neutral yung financial information. Hindi yan dapat may bias. Okay? And then third one, accuracy. Okay? Tama ba yan? Wala ba yung mali? Kanina, no, kompleto. Adequate disclosure. No, completeness. Eto naman, accurate ba? Tama ba yan? Wala bang errors? No, free from errors. <laughs> that is why, ang term natin dyan is free from errors. Okay? So, please take note of this. Ingredients of faithful representation. Now, in a summary, ang tawag natin dito, ano, sa relevance and faithful re uh, representation, they are the fundamental qualities of accounting information para masagot natin, ano, etong question na ito sa umpisa na how do we help users make informed decision by providing useful information. And how do we provide useful information? Okay, the answer here is this one. By making the financial information re relevant and that it should represent faithfully ano, what really happened in the organization. Okay? So, maraming salamat po. Ano, that ends this short video lecture on fundamental qualities of accounting information. Now, if you have any questions, comment down below at sasagutin ko ang mga katanungan ninyo. Until then, bye-bye!